He's doing some tower rush here. I'm gonna go take Wood up there. He'll never find me. Hello there. <clears throat> He'll never find me. Spanish again for my boy Casva. Let's hop into it. But yeah, that was a good video. I liked it. Uh, solid, solid. And and, and I and I I genuinely like those kind of uh, funny Age of Empire videos. I think he, I think Nymphatic said he spent eight hours making that one. You know, it's a lot of time investment. But honestly, well done, man. This is something that people, you know, you never know when this kind this thing kind of gets traction on YouTube as well. Uh, oh, I forgot to pick save. Uh, sorry, uh, Nectary. What was the save? I'll pick it next game. Sorry about that, Nectary. I scammed him. Any tips for beating a super defensive opponent with Stonewall? I tried to ram push and cast on the kept repairing behind. When your opponent stonewalls, his eco will be worse. His or her eco will be worse. So generally speaking, the best strategy is for you to boom while putting a bit of pressure with archer units from the outside. And then um, and then once you get to the um, yeah, and then once you get to the Imperial Edge, you can easily break stone walls with trebuchet, siege ram, that kind of stuff. Okay? So so that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be the plan there. Um, don't don't try to push into stone walls because he's investing a lot into them. Just boom yourself, and then you can e easily beat them next time. Uh, thanks to the mod. Thank you, Roxy, for uh, for putting up the YouTube link once again. Yeah, go go sub to him. Show him some support. I mean, he puts in a lot of work, and that video is that video is pretty quality, if you ask me. So I didn't finish it. You guys can go finish it there. Check it out. All right, all right. Who won yesterday? Um, who won yesterday? I think it was. Uh, Viper that won. Yeah, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure why it took so long to answer that, actually. Yeah, Viper won the show match yesterday. 3-1 to one in terms of challenges. Can we get more 2v2 content? Uh, yeah, actually, we could. I think me and Roxy will play some more 2v2s uh, this week, probably. Or maybe maybe next week. Tomorrow I'm taking off. Weekend is two pools. But maybe next week, yeah. Next week or this uh, or this weekend. We'll see. I mean, she's in chat now, but we haven't decided when. But uh, we'll, we'll get some more 2v2s, yes. Just watched the YouTube video of Leary Stonewall again. Did you like it? That was uh, one of my most embarrassing losses ever, I would say. But it was such a masterpiece from him, so uh, I still like the game. <laughs> when is the next big tournament? Two pools. Two pools in the next two weeks of tournament. Deciding for me, cringe. No, no, I'm not, I'm not deciding. I'm just saying my schedule and we'll decide. And we'll, we'll see. Maybe next week sometime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, Roxy, on this day, you must play 2v2s. You have no choice in the matter. We must put out 2v2 content. Okay, um, let's get there. And there will be some team game show matches next week as well. Uh, I know the Chinese guys want to organize with AM. So we're going to have a, a few team game show matches next week as well. I say a few, maybe just the one, but... Yes. <laughs> it might not even be alive tomorrow, true. Yo, I did with 10 gifted subs. No, I scammed you. The alerts didn't play. I'm going to redo that. Uh, Aiden, thanks for the 10 gifted subs, man. The support from Aiden recently has been nuts. Absolutely crazy. Thank you so much, man. Really, really appreciate that. Okay, okay. What's up, Master Macintosh? How's it going, man? <laughs> I heard Master Macintosh earlier. I, I read him say he'll sell his wife for 300 ELO. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. So I guess we're all on board, eh? So personal life is cast aside when ELO's in question. All right, fair enough. Ah, okay, okay, man. Greetings from Brazil, Hera. Hello, man. Good to see you here. Greetings from Canada, my friend. When will be your next two pools streamed? So I might be able to stream the quarterfinals this weekend. Maybe. However, if there's going to be a lot of people casting it and shit, I might not stream it just to focus. Because generally speaking, when there's a lot of people casting and stuff, the viewership on my channel isn't great. And, ooh. oh, God, that, that bores on 1 HP. So I have to kill him like that. Yeah, and I killed a sheep by accident too. So that was a full-blown disaster. Um, so yeah, generally speaking, if there's a lot of other people casting it, for me, I, I feel like there's no point in streaming it. It's already being widely represented, so I might just focus on the games. But yeah, that's the situation, my friend. This weekend, next two pools match. <clears throat> How is the vaccine going in Canada? Is there any prospects of opening again? Right now, we have curfew at like 8, 8 a.m. or 8 p.m., so like the morning, um, which is, in my opinion, like kind of a w weird way to go about it personally. But he's uh, he's doing some uh, 
He's doing some tower rush here. <laughs> what was the pathing? I did not tell him to go there. I'm not doing meta terms. Got him. I'm just gonna go straight at archers. I'm gonna go take wood up there. He'll never find me. <clears throat> uh, okay, that's awkward. Ah, oh, That was not worth it for him. So we're here. All right, I don't mind. He stole while I get like a nerd as well. <laughs> There, just to keep my gold safe. Can I go archer? That's, this is how I like to play against tower rush. I just go archer. Archer is like one of the best things that you can do versus tower rush. And the reason is, if you go mana arms, it makes it a very hard game. Wow, that was really unfortunate. Um, uh, because you have to constantly be microing the mana arms and then constantly defending at home with nothing. But archer is so simple. You just go and you prevent him from moving forward with towers because you have archers. Like right here. I continue to damage his bills. Okay, I run away. And then when you get like four or something, we can counterattack. Like right now, four is a really good number to counterattack with. You can kill bills in four four bursts. So I'm gonna go for the counterattack. That tower I can kill later on, with just a couple of bills most likely. Let's try and block this uh, stone. I want to try and retain access to that stone. He might have scrims at home or maybe some tower defense now. I wouldn't be surprised. Tower watch is a good upgrade as well. Yeah, tower defense. So we obviously want to dodge that. But still, forcing towers at home is great. Uh, why am I losing so much HP? That was unfortunate. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm just not comfortable with these guys anymore. I lost too much HP, I'm just gonna go back. I'll go back and heal them. Feels like he's not...
Feels like he's not tower rushing anymore. Let me go back with these guys. <clears throat> Can I reach that? Without the other tower reaching me? I think I can. That's huge. I'm gonna go back and heal those those guys. So I lost absolutely nothing for that whole trip. He was on here. So I'm gonna go attack on this side. Oh, my house. That's okay. See if I can find with these three archers now. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god. Just go there. Did I not tell him to just go? Does he have ballistics? What is happening? I lost two archers for no reason. I was supposed to lose exactly zero of those. This is so weird. That blacksmith should not go up. I don't know a lot, but I'll pick up. Forcing another tower here. Pretty good. I haven't seen what the numbers are yet, but I think it's good, generally speaking. Walling the uh, nerfing the cumin walls, they're a bit too strong. Because it's a team bonus too, it's way too strong as a team bonus. Like now, what is he gonna go now? If he goes knights, he's gonna die. If he goes conks, he's gonna die. He's dead. <laughs> Wow, good reaction, dude. That is quality reaction. Okay, okay. Yo, Grifter the Noob gifting five subs to the stream. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. I'm gonna keep these guys around here. I'm gonna try and snipe them later, later on in my career. I'll get one town center. Pro thing is, I think he's gonna go Castle Age and Castle Drop me, so I have to be careful of that. That's what I think is going to happen. I'm going to keep these guys here to harass those few archers there. I need, to, I need to find counter damage now as well, ideally. Why am I rolling my R's? Nah, just for fun. Stream. <laughs> I don't know, if it sounds funny. Maybe just me though. He just moved them, so he's not going to be looking, I think. He wants to do something now. Yeah, cast drop. I don't think I can do anything to stop that, to be honest. I think I just give it up. Yeah, I think what, I, what we're going to do here... Let's harass him at home. Give up that side and then just go ballistic set here. It takes a lot of uh, composure here when you get a castle in your face. 
The other alternative is to try and do like double tower defense to try to prevent him from getting the castle up. But I don't like doing that because if you fail, you lose. But now I like, I'm still playing. You know, I still have a chance to win. Okay, He's like this is just not a good idea. And now with ballistics, it should be kind of easy to pick off the conks that come my way. Just his base is completely tower defense. Did I go back and snap those? Maybe. He has time to watch. There's no way he's seeing me like so much like that. Bot can error as well. Something else? Seed shop? Yeah. Fine by me. He's very active with his units, very aware. I was able to get three villas off him though. There's a lot of gold on this side, even the extra gold is there. What I want to do is send this one weak guy, actually not the weak guy. I'm going to have to micro here actually. Didn't really hit maybe that stone. I think at this point it's just worth giving us up. It's such an awkward place to defend, so I don't want to risk losing the game at it. Okay. Ah, I missed the TC. I could have got a third bill. I'm lucky. Worst part here for me is that I don't have stone. Haraman, your ma into Archer's build order got me 70 LO in one day. So I might good. even be in the quadruple digits. You are a gift to the O2 community. No respect.
Hmm. Maybe run push. That's huge. Yeah, keep the... I want to keep the arbalest behind. What a game, <clears throat> what a game. That's insane, that was a nice game. That was an insane one, very, very nice. Could've went either way, honestly, could've went either way. I think I think Kazza played pretty well this game. Although I do think I, I do think I've, I had better engagements and that's what won me the game. Your defense is honestly unbelievable, GG still. Thank you, man, yeah. <laughs> Someone's saying I soak pressure up like a sponge. I love getting attacked, honestly. It's so, it's so good for me. You versus Kazza is always a good watch. Yeah, he's, he's pretty solid. Why did he resign? He can continue. No, I'm I'm in uh, I'm in Imperial Lich. I would just go ramp push. I'll have Arbalest. I'll have skirmishes with the bracer chemistry. It's really hard for him to recover from that. He'd have to go like light cav, but he doesn't have the eco.